Hey, it's May, Vey, 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 and today we are back on TerraCraft. And as you can see, we have someone living by us now, which is kind of fun. And they also gave me some diamonds. So, yeah, that is pretty nice. I forgot who they were. Wait, it is Samuez YT. And so, uh, the, I don't remember what else I sh have shown off. Um, I have diamond pickaxe, diamond sword, I did that in the wrong order. But, um, I did some exploring because today, as the name title suggests, we are going to be heading to the desert. And I have the coordinates for it, or rather for the aggressive rock space, which is in the desert, or at least I'm pretty sure it is. Um, probably would be best to double check that, but you know, I'm pretty sure it's at least close to the desert, so you know, that's something. And I think we're going to use some of this iron to make a boat. I have a lot of iron. Alright, well that's cool. Um, hold on. Sticks. There we go. But, the thing is that it's like... Hold on, let's see. So we are negative 300. It's at like almost a thousand. So we're like 1300 blocks away from it. And I tried going there on foot. That's where I got all the diamonds from. Well, not all of them, but diamonds for these two. I guess I was in six diamonds. In my line seven, I don't remember. But, um, plus the seven that Samuel gave me. And so, the only good way to get there is via the nether. And I'm not, I haven't been in the nether since like the first day, so I'm not quite sure what has happened in the nether. If there's like a, you know, nether base or, you know, whatever has happened in the nether. Uh, I do want to try and sneak in. Alright, so I have 20 gold. Uh, the reason that I need to go to the desert is simply for cactus. I need cactus, I need green dye. Yeah, that, that's, that's all I need pretty much for the desert. But I'm just going to put some of this stuff away real quick, because we don't need it at the moment. I don't think we need any of this stuff um, quest-wise. Put that one back there. Also, just grab this bow from the skeleton. Oh, I didn't really grab it from him. Oops. I should probably get more organized, but we'll see we'll probably that later on. Alright, so I think we're about good. I'll put this back too as well. And put this back up. I'll keep the axe up. And I'll put these away. Alright, cool. We'll keep that up. Alright. So, one of the main things that we need is gold. And I think I have, alright, yeah, plenty enough gold for some gold boots. Boots. Perfect. Where is my bucket? I thought I had a bucket. And my bucket of water. Alright. Also, while we're at it, I might as well make an enchanting table, because right over here, if I remember correctly, is a lava pool. So we can make a nice lovely nether pool. I think I'm going to make it in the anomaly. By the way, that's what I've named this. I don't think anyone else has named it, but I'm going to name this the anomaly, because, I mean, that's what it is, isn't it? So, I'll put my bread there. Uh, but I guess I'll just quickly make the nether portal, and I'll get back to you once I have done that. Alrighty, so I got myself flint and steel. I was pretty sure I had one before, but I couldn't find it, so I must have left it somewhere. But I've connected up this little island place with a super sturdy bridge that I'll probably end up changing in the future. But right now, I just don't really care. Use some of the lava from here. I also have four obsidian. Oh, so I was gonna go. Boom, another portal. But I'm going to make a real quick enchanting table because. But why not? Why not use, make an enchanting table. So, I'm just gonna have to head all the way back to my base. Should probably have made it a bit closer. But, um, I guess I'll share real quick what I want to do. But I want to make all the tents green. There will be some that are brown, but they'll mostly be green. Um, because, like, military-esque. What do I need from here? Oh yes, my two diamonds. This will be the last of my diamonds. Will be used... I need a book. I'm pretty sure I have a book somewhere. I might not have a book. No, I have leather. Don't I have leather? I do have leather, don't I? Wait. I don't have leather. Are there any cows near me, perhaps? Dang, I thought I had a lot more stuff than I did. I must have turned it all into armor. That was stupid of me. Alright, well, let's just see. Yeah, let's just see. Alright, well, I guess we'll just keep it in this chest for now, because I'm sure you guys want to see me go to the nether by now. Also, I will... Oh. 
And I will put my diamond pickaxe back because I don't want to lose my diamond pickaxe. The sword's fine though. But real quick, I do want to go up here to the anomaly and I want to place down something slightly sinister to possibly draw people away. Not draw people away, but you know the phrase the saying. I do want to build um, like an elevator here eventually. Sounds like I made some stairs. Um, but, you know, like a piston elevator. However, I don't have any slime. Although, I do know where a slime chunk is. In the, there's a, in there. Whoa, wow, it fell off. Um, there is a slime chunk. So, grab this resident dust, grab this, and grab the pillager head. And we will just place this right there, because why not? Actually, there's quite a few reasons why not, but, you know, they're obsolete. I can't hear you. So, anyways, let's just head to the nether already, because that's literally what the point of this video is. Well, not really, but kinda. And, I don't know, let's just jump on the, out of the, yep. Words. Alright, I guess I will just go into the nether and it will be extremely- Hey, just interrupting the video here for a second to remind you to like and subscribe and do all the other things YouTubers tell you to do. Cause you know, it's free, it, it helps out the channel, and I'm probably trying to get to some amount of subscribers in some amount of time, so you better subscribe now to become Part of the some number club. And one totally not a cut later, we have entered the nether in a not great spot. So let's see, what coordinates are we at? Alright. We need to go th we need to go this way for a little bit. Is there an entry to the nether roof? I don't think anyone's done that yet. Sorry, I'll get this out of your way. Honestly, this might lead us where we need to go. This super unsafe looking nether highway. It's not even a highway, it's just blocks. I don't even have a bow. Oh, that's a ghast, and it is in fire, and it is spinning around like a madman. That? Okay, I thought that just led to the bottom. Alright, the, the nether's scary, alright? I'm not a huge fan of the nether. I don't think most people are. There's a random fish head. Hello, fish head. Alright, not sure whose portal this is. Let's just see real quick, why not? Hope this isn't a trap. If this is a trap, I'll be a little bit upset. Ah, no. Someone's draining an ocean monument, I see. That's good to know there's an ocean monument here. Alright, so, where are we? Cordons. Alright, we are not far, but also not close. I believe this will probably take us closer to where we need to go. Where... Alright, so we need to go this way, basically. Not if... Alright, there we go. Uh, that should probably lead us somewhat closer. I bet that probably leads to it, but I'm looking for a desert. I already said that, didn't I? And it's in the title and thumbnail. <laughs> well, kind of. Another portal here. Is this my base? This is the portal to my base. Alright, I will admit I'm not the smartest person alive, and I got all confused because I didn't have F3 up, but F3 is a bit annoying. Maybe I should get a better F3 mod. Comment below if you think I should get the F better F3 mod. I was like, wow, it's kind of weird that someone made the exact same structure for ladders, stairs, I meant. So we just need to go this way to, I think, let me check real quick. I don't have it up. All right, I think it's like 200 something this way. 200 or 100. Let me check real quick. All right, so it's 125, negative 325. So... Basically just this way a little bit further, um, and this way, right away is. So let's just go this way, it's definitely over here, and there's definitely a big pool of lava there. I don't want to risk that, honestly, and I almost just fell to my death there, I could have. I took some damage anyways, though. Honestly though, this hasn't been the worst nether trip adventure ever. This is, oh my gosh. And I hear a ghast, don't kill me, please don't kill me, I would be very mad if you kill me. Okay, we are safe. I mean, we're not really safe, but safer than we were out of there. Alright, so we are almost there. Going this way a bit further should lead us to our destination. In fact, if I'm correct, this probably is a path towards the desert. I could be completely wrong, though. That's definitely an option. There is moss here. Let's see. Okay, so we have about 200 blocks to go this way. That isn't all that much. Let's see, when we get there. I didn't bring any obsidian though, so I guess I'm just assuming there will be a portal when we get there. There certainly couldn't be. It could be on the top of the nether. It could be under the bedrock, for all I know. All right, let's see. So it should literally, all right, so, oh wait, we went the wrong way. 
it's negative 300. Are we negative? No. So it's 500 blocks that way. Yeah, remember what I just said about me not being the smartest person? Turns out when it comes to nether travel, I am also still not the smartest person. I guess I'm just not the smartest person alive. Oh my goodness, it was not worth it. There is no portal here and I don't have obsidian. There is a possibility that I did my math wrong and if I did my math wrong, I'll be highly upset. But if we go here, we are at negative 325 and positive 325. There is no portal here, my friends. I almost died like 15,000 times from all the ghasts and blazes and me forgetting to bring like a bow. But you know, you'd think that if you're going to like the dangerous, most dangerous place on earth, or rather not on earth, because I don't think the nether is the overworld. And even if it was, it's still gonna be earth. Do they, they don't even drop blaze rods. Oh, stupid. I will kill you though, because I do want some magma cream. So, it appears that I may just have to ask someone for some cactus. That is, if I even make it out of here alive. Although I presume I will, because I'm not terrible at the game. <gasps> Red sand! That's totally useless to me, but whatever. So I guess we will begin the not all that long journey back. If I can get out of this sandstorm, fire sandstorm biome, I will be golden. But, you know, that is the, that is the issue, which is, of course, getting out of here alive, because I, I sure as heck want to get out of here alive, but I don't even know if I will. We do have a nice little break here with this, you know, soul sand biome. I thought that was a gas. Luckily, it was not. I'm taking so much damage. Is my arm broken? Alright, it's not actually looking too bad. I keep pressing E. Just by there, and I don't remember coming across this when I was coming over here, but alright. Please, Mr. Scary, please do not shoot at me a whole bunch. Alright, well, he shot me once, which I guess did fulfill my criteria. For I, oh, I just almost jumped down there. I guess this video. <laughs> this video should be called I Am Not the Smartest Person. Because frankly, I'm not. That was weird. He like shot one and then he shot the other two after. They get redstone. I have redstone from him. Interesting. You missed. Ha ha ha. I am not taking the nether as seriously as I should. As seen by that. Alright, I think we are relatively close. We're not close, close. We're not far either. What's that over there? Is that a person? Oh, it's just a pig one. Um, just... Ouch. That was probably a really bad idea. Is that a person? No, it's just a big one. Okay. I thought that was a person. I probably should be like collecting like quartz or whatever from here, but honestly, I don't really care. I just want to get back home alive. I think I probably will just ask if I can just have like a cactus because that's really all I want, so I can make infinite die. I'm surprised no one's made a portal, unless I just did my math entirely wrong, which, you know, that could be. Just correct me in the comments, but isn't it, um, like, to get coordinates in the nether, you need to times the overworld coordinates, or divide the overworld coordinates by eight? It is division, isn't it? I think so, but I might be getting confused. Speaking of getting confused, I am not sure. All right, this looks promising up here. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, hmm. All right, I'm pretty sure it's just this way. Let's see. Probably. All right. Well, I'm going to go for another session of not recording me being in terrible danger, and I will get back to you once that is over. All right, so that was completely not worth it. Um, I should have at least brought Obsidian with me, but no, because frankly, I'm not the smartest person, as this whole video has shown. Maybe I should switch the title from the Cactus Quest to I am not the smartest person. Maybe I should do a poll. 
I don't know, we'll see. I'm just gonna casually borrow this torch. And I'm gonna place it up here. It'll be more useful there. But, in order to show that this place is called The Anomaly, because I don't think anyone else has named it, and if they have, they're not calling it The Anomaly, they're calling it whatever the heck name they named it. So I'm going to make sure that people know that this is The Anomaly, because that is my name for it, and that's what I want to name it. So I'm going to use some lovely, lovely acacia wood. Acacia wood. Just like that. And I'm sure there's probably some more hiding in the tree, but who knows? Let's just do a quick look. Doesn't seem like it. There is one. It wasn't even hiding. Alright, well, that kind of was. Alright, well, I think most of them are gone, but that tree should be gone any moment. Momentarily. Just grab those. And I just want to see if I can just borrow someone's crafting table. Mr. Danger. Is it gonna rain or is it just nighttime? Nighttime. Alright, cool. Who made a sand castle? There's literally a castle made of sand. This could go, you know, this could go towards like, draining the ocean monument. Oh, I assume it's probably someone else's project, so, you know, they probably wouldn't just want to, you know, randomly just, you know, take some of the sand. This area looks much worse off. I don't know. It seems like it's been, like, there's a lot more creeper holes. Let's see if anyone's taken, I guess I can show you what I put in here, because last episode it wasn't working. So I was having slightly bad connection. And I also know there's a crafting table up here, so, yeah. Also, what is this big old neon sign? That's okay, it's a bunch of item frames. Probably it's for a map. Maybe like a map of the world, I don't know. Let's see? Oh, weird, it still doesn't work. Neither of them work. That's weird. Alright. That one doesn't work either. Does this one work? I wonder if that's just a thing with the spawn chunks. Like if it's a protection thing for the spawn chunks. Who knows? But over here is a crafting table. I don't really care whose it is, but I'm going to use it. Not the chest, the crafting table. We're going to craft some signs. That should be plenty. Do they have a bed? No. It's kind of weird if I was sleeping in their bed. Let's see, there's someone else online, so maybe they'll sleep. That was weird. I thought I saw something. Oh, holy moly. That is five creepers. I'm not going to get involved with that at all and we're just going to run away at the speed of sound because i don't want to have to deal with that honestly it weirds me out that people just put heads everywhere like, like why i mean okay like everyone was like killing each other in the first episode i guess so like everyone has each other's heads for some reason basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to put some signs around the anomaly that says the anomaly, hence the name suggests. And then people will know that this is the anomaly. In fact, I'm gonna put it next to the pillager, so yeah. We could probably do this in time lapse form, think about it. You know what, let's do that. Alright, so I put some signs around like this one right here. This one just says where most of them just say the anomaly. A few of them are red if I had red dye on me, but I didn't really have much because I was just picking up flowers along the way. Uh, as you can see, I put them on the tips here. I don't think most of the anomaly over that way is just ocean, so I didn't add any over there. Also, inevitability, inevitability T, that person. If you are watching the video right now, I swear I wasn't doing anything at your base. I was just looking. Trust me. But anyways, you know, I was thinking I might do something else, but I might just end the video here. I don't really know what else I was going to do. I do want to see if someone has cactus, though. There is a that big sand castle from earlier. I don't know if I pointed it out. But um, that's a sand shop, so I might ask if they can sell some cactus, because I do need cactus. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I've done. It, I think it took me probably about 15 minutes, maybe. Uh, not exactly sure. But hey, why don't we just end off the video right here by going in F5 and saying thank you for watching the video, and I I think that's about all the time we have in the video, so uh, uh, I guess I'll see you next week.